I have the Canon LPE6NH battery. This is the official one from Canon, which you get with your Canon R6 or R7 or pretty much any mirrorless professional camera. And even the DSLRs use this battery. This is a $79 battery. Is it worth $79? Well, small rig doesn't think so. So they created this battery, which actually has more power. It's $39, so half the price. And it also offers USB-C charging, which I've never seen before on any battery. This is a game changer. I've been using this for the last few days, and I think this will be the way to go in the future for me. Camera batteries are one of those things that we just hate spending money on, but you need a good battery and sometimes you need backup batteries. Well, I was in the market looking for them and coincidentally, this one just hit the market a few weeks ago and it is a game changer with USB-C. I have never seen this before and I've been testing it out and been absolutely floored. The fact that I could charge this the traditional way with the Canon adapter in the wall or plug it in on the go in my car has really changed the way that I'm gonna be doing my shoots in the future. And I'm not gonna be stressing so much if I accidentally bring a dead battery because now I can charge it quickly and I can get a full charge in just two and a half hours. So I wanted to test this out on somebody who has never used a Canon camera before or really any camera battery at all. So I gave my seven-year-old son this battery to try it out traditionally to charge it, didn't tell him how to do it. And I gave him this battery and said to do it in a different way because I wanted to make a point that this one is gonna be easier to charge for somebody never knowing how to charge this one in the wall. Well, that kind of backfired for me. So, Fritz, you see that battery in your hand? Yes. Uh, go put it in the charger. What charger? Right there, right in the wall. Here? Yeah. What? You weren't supposed to get that the first try? How would you charge this one? How would you charge this battery? Could you charge it with that cord? Look on the top. So I'm not sure exactly how he actually just made this work. He's never seen me charge a battery in his entire life. And um, in this one, he has done USB-C for all his other devices. And this just baffled me that he could not see it in the front there. But regardless, this is a lot easier to charge than this for most people, not a seven-year-old. But for us, this is gonna be awesome on the go. I am so excited about this so let's take a closer look here at this battery when you get your canon battery from small rig it will be this color so it's actually going to be a blue grayish color here and then you get the usb-c with the regular usb connection and um, any usb-c will work so everybody's got one nowadays and then you've got um, your battery so I wasn't sure what I thought about the color at first, and then I was thinking, you know what, this stands out, I can find it pretty easily. So if I'm going through my bag and I'm looking at a bunch of batteries, this color is gonna stand out for me, and I'll know which one to go for because in most cases, I'm not gonna wanna forget these batteries because of the very reason that the USB-C connection is right there. I have this longer USB-C that's connected to my computer and then I can plug it right into my battery and then there's the red light that turns on. When this is fully charged, it is gonna turn green and then I know that it's good to go and it only takes about two and a half hours to get fully charged. You can also charge this the traditional way through the Canon adapter. Here is the Canon version, here's the small rig version. 
They look pretty much identical. The Canon version is rated at 2130 MAH and the small rig is rated at 2400 MAH. So you have more power in this, plus you have the opportunity to use USB-C, whereas in the Canon version, you do not. Uh, this one will stand out. So if you have both of these in here and you're just scrambling to grab the right one, you know which one to get. Now I do have links below specifically to this small rig battery. I highly recommend it for $39. You really can't go wrong. It's half the price of the Canon version. So I ended up buying two of these because, well, you can never have enough batteries. Last year, I traveled about an hour and 15 minutes north for a shoot. I actually forgot my batteries and only had one that was in the camera that was actually dead. This would have actually saved me a lot of time. I had to have my wife drive up, bring in one of my spare batteries, and then I was able to shoot. But if I had one of these, I would just plug in the USB-C in my car and do a quick charge and be on my way. From dead to alive, this takes about two and a half hours to charge. Otherwise, you can get enough charge in just a matter of minutes to get through a job. This is a game changer. The fact that you have a battery that can be connected directly USB-C, you get a nice little LED red light showing that, hey, it's not fully charged yet. Then it turns on green, knowing that that is fully charged is awesome. I mean, does that almost eliminate ever having one of those chargers in the wall? It's gonna be so easy to plug this in anywhere. It's just a game changer altogether. For $39, you really can't go wrong with these batteries. It's half the price of the Canon official battery and it's got more power to it plus the USB-C for charging. It's just a more versatile battery. Plus, I actually like this color because it stands out in my bag when I'm going through all my batteries. I have links below where you can purchase this battery. Also, to let you know, B&H is still having that sale go on with the Canon 50 millimeter 1.8. Instead of the $180, it is 99 with the code below. It's a good deal. If you don't have a 50 millimeter 1.8, Check out that link, $99 for an RF lens, you can't go wrong. But again, this battery is huge, a game changer. You should have at least one, if not two. I have two, I'll probably end up buying more. $39 is really not that bad. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like, and I will see you in the next video. Oh, and check out those videos too, because you probably will like them. Most people do, I haven't had any complaints except for the ones I deleted.